What's going on guys, Mr. Claster here. Welcome back to a brand new Rural to Survival video. Now in today's video guys, we have a major update that actually came out in this game and there's a couple different things and there actually are a lot of different things that came out in this update. And the biggest one in my own opinion is the brand new sports car, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But first of all, guys, let's break down this update. So first of all that I noticed, we do have finally brand new suits. Now, I don't know when Netties is gonna change up the advanced supply box or it's also called, now it's called the look supply. By the way, they did change, I believe most of the names, if not all the names, it's called now the gold supply instead of like, I don't know what the name was before. Uh, the Supreme Supply stays the same. The Look Supply used to be the Advanced Supply. The Firearm stays the same. And the Vehicle Supply, I think, I don't know if that changed or not, but it seems like there were name changes, or at least a couple of them. So, um, you know, there's not anything new for the Advanced Supply, but that is not a big deal in this update because other suits make up for this, um, definitely by far. So, the very first thing we do have is the brand new suit. By the way, one small thing I noticed before I get into all that is if you go to the gold supply and you go to either the regular or the elite supply box, there is a change. And the biggest change that I see right now is the Lady Lavender. If you guys are not familiar you know, with this game or with this specific suit, the Lady Lavender used to cost, I believe, I believe, let me check one thing actually. I think it was, no, never mind. There was a different suit. So the Dark Fury is actually in the, in the, token mall sorry guys i got confused between the two suits they look actually pretty a little bit similar but the dark fury cost 500 tokens guys and i only have 55 so but i did buy part of the suit i bought the dark fury kind of i think it was like the eye patch i believe i bought or something like that yeah so i do have one piece but it's 500 tokens to get the full suit it's going to take a very long time because you can only get one token obviously a day or maybe a couple tokens a day i'm not exactly sure what the day limit is but it's really not a lot so it's going to take you know quite some time but the brand new suit we have so if you go to the looks so the very first suit we have is the now i'm very bad at pronunciation i i apologize if you're you know if you know this language and i don't or the specific name of this suit i'm gonna say it's the the lapu or the yapu i don't know how you pronounce it exactly go ahead and make fun of me in the comments that's fine i don't know how to pronounce this name but the lapu lapu theme pack which is the brand new suit it's basically uh it's a pretty cool suit. It's got, it kind of reminds me of like a pirate type of suit where you carry the sword or like Prince of Persia type of stuff, you know, that type of feel. So basically it's a character that's holding the sword. It's got a red, obviously top, the pants. Looks like basically like a soldier, you know, that's what it's aimed for. And it is a very, very cool outfit. I do like this outfit. Now I did not spend the diamonds trying to get this outfit because obviously the other one I'm gonna talk about in just a second is a lot better. But yeah, the Lapu Lapu theme pack is actually a pretty cool thing. You also get, let me actually, I'm not gonna buy it. I almost bought the thing, but there's the hair, the pants, the sword, and then the middle, the chest piece, and then as well as the headband, which is actually really, really cool. So I know Perceval that has both, I believe Seek and Destroy, you know, also has both suits. I'm sure both of them do. I've seen, I, I actually played with Perceval obviously, so, I should major shout out to him guys for actually having this car maxed out as well. And I know Seek and Destroy has it maxed out as well, I'm pretty sure. But in this video, Perceval was the one that actually offered me, you know, for the car. So, um, you know, shout out to you. He doesn't like, obviously, shout outs. He told me, but I got to give credit, man. I'm not going to just make a video with the max out car and not give credit because it's definitely his. So the next suit we have is the, I think, again, another pronunciation, but it's called the Kachawan suit theme park or the kaka one i'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it exactly but i did spend diamonds for this suit because it's way better in my own opinion it's better than the other suit um i think it's got i just think it's a better suit the animation is way better as well it's got an elephant as a like a top i mean it really is a nice suit it is uh, very interesting of a suit it's like more of a I don't know how you, I mean, there's really not a way to describe the suit, but it is very, very cool. I do like it. So there is uh, the pants, obviously the middle piece, the top. There's also the Chang parachute, which I already have. So guys, I got for, how many diamonds did I spend? So for the parachute, I spent about a couple hundred and I got that. Then I spent 600 and got the top piece. And then my second try, I got the middle piece. So all in all, I probably spent about 800 diamonds and I already have most of the suit. So 
not too bad of a deal compared to the advanced supply where it's 1440 diamonds to get a times 10 draw and times 10 draw does not guarantee you you know two or three things either so um, so far i've been having pretty good luck um, you know when i'm spending diamonds hopefully i can get the bottom piece because i want this full suit it is very very cool very very unique in the game both those suits are cool and the parachute as well the chang parachute not a big fan of it it's a weird type of parachute um something i'm probably not going to carry too much in battle i might i still love my devilfish parachute because devilfish parachute i in my own opinion is the best parachute in the game hands down there's not a better one that's that that i can think of in my own opinion there's just not one but this is a pretty unique parachute as well it's just not my cup of tea and i believe that is about it for the looks i believe i'm just checking over and let's go towards the car so I did not expect the car today. I know Seek and Destroy or Percival, they were both talking like, you know, maybe there's a car update that's going to come out. You know, you never know what Netties can bring because I didn't hear much about the update today. But obviously, you know, especially when they do these type of things, sometimes they don't tell you the exact specifics of the update as well. So, but I, anyway, I did not know the car was going to come out and it's called the Twister. So actually, let me go towards, uh, let me actually go to looks, go to vehicles and actually am i going to the right section no it's in the workshop section what am i doing okay so in the workshop it's called the twister t1 which is the first car you get now i don't know specifically what type of specific car it is i don't know if it's a mclaren doesn't look like it's a mclaren um it does not look like a bugatti either obviously we have bugatti in the game so i don't know what specific car this is maybe some of you guys that are that know cars might know you guys can drop a comment in the comment section below if you guys know the specific model of this car I can't really say it from just the angle and the way it looks. Um, I just can't. I really can't. Like it's, it looks like a couple different cars that I know. But uh, the the second one is this Twister T2, which is a type of kind of a greenish bluish type of color, which is pretty unique. It also has evolution text, on, you know, written on the side of the car. And the final one is the Storm, and that's what Perceval has. That's what Seek and Destroy has. This car is really, really good. Now, Perceval had his own opinions about this car. He told me that he doesn't like the back of the car and like kind of the sides are a little bit weird, which I can understand. It's not obviously the most flashiest car. I think the Supernova would be probably the flashiest, but it is it is a unique car. I'll give you guys an example. So if you do have the car or if you just look at the car in the workshop, there's animation going around the car, which is really, really cool. That's what I really, really like about the car. It's kind of got that type of night mode slash glow type of feel to it. And it's just a very, very cool car. It's like you can almost see through it. It's got on both sides, not just the left, but the right. Also the front and the back has animation as well. And overall guys, this car is really, really nice. Now, one thing I noticed about this car, which I really didn't know until Parcival told me was, he told me when we were going up the hill because we were that the car was speeding up going up the hill usually with sports cars like supernova lamborghini the bugatti usually when you go up the hill it like either you hit something of a even the slightest you know bump or a little bit of a uphill type of move or you know when you're driving up the hill if you touch anything wrong with those other sports cars it's going to slow your car down you know you're going to crash or something this car is so smooth up the hill it's not even like it's just like it's so smooth it can beat out any of other sports cars i can guarantee up the hill battle like it is very very fast up the hill which makes it unique i don't know if netties did that intentionally i'm sure they probably did because i know this you know when i was riding up the hill and he was like clash are you boosting and i was like no i'm not boosting why would i be boosting right now we're almost out of fuel and we were just going up the hill really fast so uh if you have this car even if you have the twister t1 Go ahead, guys. Give it a try. Maybe one of your teammates has the car. Go up the hill. Go up the biggest hill you possibly can. This car is not going to slow down. It is really, really fast. Definitely way faster than the other sports cars that are trying to go up the hill as well. So overall, guys, this update's amazing. The Twister T1, Twister T2, the Storm, the new suits. Hopefully, I can get that Kawakan or the Kawachan suit. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm so bad with pronunciations. But anyway... I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead, please leave a like. That would really mean a ton. Also in the comment section below, tell me what you guys think about this update. Personally, I think it was a very, very successful update. And also, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you guys click the subscribe button for daily content. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.